What's up beautiful people listening and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be checking this video and it's titled Jorogan loses it on walk left after insane viral video surfaces. Okay. Interesting. I'm excited to check this one and see what they've got to say. Let's check it out. He, you get a fake lease, mm -hmm. so you draft up, draft up a fake lease, you use that lease to get the power and things turn in your name, you pay the bill, like there's a bunch of different steps that you can do that just seems to indicate that you are the legal resident, right. and then they have to take you to court. And it could be months in months Years. before you even get a trial. Joe Rogan has been on a tear recently, having guests on the Joe Rogan experience that are just absolutely destroying the woke cult, but also destroying the woke cult himself. As you can see on the screen right here, this tweet from Colin Rugg says, new, Joe Rogan calls out insane progressive policies that allow for squatters to steal people's houses. This guy was explaining how he did it in a YouTube video. He was saying that you get a fake lease. So you draft up a fake lease, use that lease to get the power and things turn in your name, you pay the bill. There's a bunch of different steps you can do that just seems to indicate that you are the legal resident right and then they have to take you to court and it could be months and months years before you even get a trial it's so crazy that in the name of protecting tenants what which is important you don't want a crappy landlord yeah you want to protect tenants but in the name of protecting tenants you are basically allowing people to steal people's houses and this is joe rogan once again destroying the woke call destroying the woke left and we also have a couple of other clips to show you from the joe rogan experience recently as well let's check out this clip here from joe rogan well, did you read the story about the guy? I think it's from <laughs> Venezuela. I had to make a move. He's telling yeah. people how to get over the border and then squat in houses and yeah. like how you'll just get yeah. like, you know, it's like they won't throw you out of their house. It's oh, not yeah. like where we're from. You can just get in the house yeah, and then you can stay there. Queens. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. yeah. so you got arrested yeah, she for got changing arrested. the locks on her own home. Uh -huh. and that then to me is crazy. They're the also squatting. saying in New York, if you're in a house for 30 days, you legally that's become right. a tenant. Yeah, that's right. If you get mail sent to the place in your name. It's yours. That is bananas. That is true. I love this story. I think it happened in like Seattle or Portland or something. This this guy was uh, at every you know march and rally, and he was like big Antifa and communism. And he met someone there, and the guy was like, "Hey, can I crash with you?" And the guy was like, "Yeah, sure." So he brought him and his girlfriend mm -hmm. and stayed on the couch. And after two weeks, the guy wouldn't let <laughs> the homeowner into his own house, and he had to call the police, ah. <laughs> which is like against their religion. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, "We don't know what to tell you." <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. If you enjoy content like this, then make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I really would appreciate it a ton. Let's get back to the video. Isn't that the best? Oh my God, that's hilarious. <laughs> that's I, amazing. I was talking to friends of mine. There, there's like there's like over a thousand squatter situations in Atlanta. And they're like, well, it's only a thousand. The population is this big. It doesn't really matter. I'm like, dude, 10 people doing it is alarming. Yeah, a thousand is yeah. crazy. Yeah. That means they know how to do it. They know the loophole. Yes. And you need to tighten that loophole up, you fuckheads. People are so smart. They know how to jock the system. A hundred percent, especially criminals and yeah. fraudsters, which is the type of person who's got... I mean, you imagine they're filming them. This is my house. Yeah. They're filming <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I don't give a fuck, dude. This is where I live now. Uh -huh. And they know that you have to pay them to get out. And that's what a lot of homeowners do. But the problem is then another person is just going to jump in. Well, and the eviction process is so long... And you have to hire a lawyer. Yeah. You have to go to court. And then it's all on the homeowner. And good yeah. luck trying to sell the place because if you're not there in the house, they'll just squat. But they always hold up like a dirty piece of paper. I have a lease. And yeah. it's just like, like a happy... <laughs> it's just, it's wild to me that New York, like these places like New York and, and I'm just talking about New York State and, and Queens and New York City, it's crazy that these places are real. Like nowadays, like these people are saying these things like it's normal. Like they're laughing at it, obviously, but... When I hear this stuff, it's like mind blowing to me that if you get mail, like I don't know how 100% true that is. Let me know in the comments how, how true that is. But if it is true that if you get mail sent in your name to a residence, to a certain house, then it's like legally your house. And if you just squat there, like if you stay there for a certain amount of time, like 30 days or whatever, then it just becomes your house and they have to take you to court and it could take years or months and months or maybe even a year plus. For them to go to trial and then you have to go through trial that could be another like few months and you basically just get a free house for a year and a half because you're just using these loopholes like this is a lot more crazy than these people on on this joe rogan podcast are making it seem like let me know in the yeah. comments does this sound just apps like i know for a fact it does like this is just insanity i can't believe these places are real face <laughs> and a house crayon. behind it absolutely this is this is insane i can't even believe that is gotten this worse in America right now. 
New York. Wow. I saw the other story in the news where was it the person that was squatting in the lady's apartment or the landlady's apartment or something? Can't even remember, but something in that light. The owner, house owner, got arrested. I mean, the, or the landlady or something. I think it's something related to that light because when I saw this, I saw it, I just couldn't believe it. I'm like, this is not real. But hearing Joe Rogan, people hearing this on Joe Rogan's podcast, yo, this is a lot deeper than we thought. Now you understand the reason why lots of people don't want to let people in their homes. It's even scarier for landlords right now. This is pure insanity and something really needs to be done and it really needs to be dealt with like quicker. So I've seen the other uh, clip or I saw the clip of the Venezuelan that was talking about people coming to America and squatting people's places and um, staying in homes and all of that. When I saw that video, I'm like, things have actually gotten worse in America. And people really need to start taking a stand before the America vanishes. And that is just plain truth. I'm sorry, but that's just the truth. Because people are looking at it like, oh, maybe it's not going to happen. They're still going to fight or take back your country. But if you want to fight to take back your country, you have to start now. Before it vanishes right there in your faces. Let's go on. Real face and <laughs> a house crayon. behind it. Yeah. This guy was explaining how he did it. This guy was explaining how he did it in this YouTube video. He's saying that he you get a fake lease, mm -hmm. so you draft up, draft up a fake lease. You use that lease to get the power, and things turn in your name. You pay the bill. Like there's a bunch of different steps that you can do that just seems to indicate that you are the legal resident, right. and then they have to take you to court. Wow. And it could be months. In months Years. before you even get a trial. Yeah, and where do they stay? The homeowners. They're fucked. In a migrant They're hotel. <laughs> the cra the uh, it's so crazy that in the name of protecting tenants, which is important, mm -hmm. you yep. don't want a shitty landlord. You want to yeah. protect tenants, mm -hmm. but in the name of protecting tenants, you're you're basically allowing people to steal people's houses. Is. Yeah, and it, it's yeah, in the name of wokeism as well. Because notice how most of the places where this this sure. nuts stuff is happening, they're. Hyper woke true, places like true. New York, LA, I and mean, they mentioned Atlanta, but it's mostly hyper woke places that this is happening, and they can't go back on it because the reality is, and this is this is the conclusion I've come to, I think that these people don't care oh. how poorly their cities or their states are yes. run. They don't care how many squatters there are, how many homeless people there are taking craps in the middle of the street. They don't care about all this stuff. They don't care about how bad the crime rate is. They care about being on the the woke side they care about that side winning they care about the woke cult taking a w that's all they care about as long as it's their policies that are in place and not the other side not the right wing not the republicans as long as it's their policies that are in place and not the republicans not the right they feel like it's a w regardless of how horrible it makes the places that they're trying to govern over anyway we also have this other clip from joe rogan that i found really really wild that joe rogan that this this stuff is coming out of joe rogan's mouth talking about christianity and faith and how it's the best way forward for our country let's check out this clip here from joe rogan and james Lindsay. and i think particularly if you're not religious i think one of the things about religious people is they've already got their thing you know, so mm -hmm. and hopefully it's one that promotes good values and it's a good thing. Yeah. But there's a part in the brain that wants that thing. Yeah. And atheists, they don't have a religion. And so they find a social religion. They that, find, a social religion. That's yeah. exactly right. That's exactly right. So they find it in their social circumstances, politics, economics, mm -hmm. and it always goes demonic. The reason why I say this is crazy to me that Joe Rogan is saying this is because for the longest time, I mean, I think Joe, I don't know if he, he would be. Technically, I don't know if Joe Rogan was technically an atheist or if he was like agnostic or whatever you want to say, but he definitely wasn't religious. He definitely wasn't promoting Christianity, faith based anything. He was, you know, a liberal. He was a hard, hardcore liberal. He was always somewhat level headed. Like you can tell that he had some some logic within his brain, like a lot of the liberals nowadays don't. But for the longest time, people like Joe Rogan and Russell Brand, 
I never thought I would ever see them talk about this stuff. So it's just awesome to see huge platforms like Joe Rogan's talk about these things and, and promote them in a positive way. Like when they do that, I've been spending a lot of time, thanks to Charlie, primarily Charlie Kirk, I've been spending a lot of time paying attention to the tenets of Christianity and studying it. And it's got a lot of good advice in there. Um, but you're 100% right that if you if you try to lack a religion, and the primary thing with the with the religion, why? So if you if you lack a religion, then it'll get filled in with other things. For very many people, I think there's a small percentage of people for maybe that doesn't apply, but there's, there's a spot in your brain for it. But the uh, the the thing that why do they go after Christians and Jews so hard everywhere they go? And the reason is because they are completely committed to. They're not when you say you know they already have their thing. For Christians and Jews, that's not how they think about God. It's not their thing. That's something that's above everything else. Well, it's, the Muslims as well. Well, Muslims too. But Muslims, Islam's a little bit different because it's got a political element worked into it. Mm -hmm. And I'm not trying to like... I've also said this before, but how James Lindsay is talking about here that every, everywhere they go, people attack like Christians and Jews. And I've also noticed that recently, and I've said this before, but you know how... Like these rappers, like Ice Spice and stuff, they try to be you know, like anti-Christ and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. How every time they're trying to seem edgy or let people know that they aren't religious, they aren't faith-based, they're they're the opposite. They always wear upside down crosses. They never yes. use, you know, other other religious Religion. symbols. They yes. always use the cross and turn it upside down. Because they're always trying to attack Christianity because I feel like they, they they're the most threatened by Christianity. That's yes, the that's the true. religion and that's the faith that they want to attack the most yes. is Christianity. So I just noticed that most of like the edgy symbolism out there is always attacking Christianity specifically. Just something that I've picked up on recently. Throw shade. I'm just saying that with all there is no the state is never above God in Christianity and Judaism ever. The state and God are somewhat intertwined or can be in Islam, but it's not so they're not quite identical. But it's true. The God is above state, no question. So when the state shows up and says to you, hey, you're going to do X, Y, Z or else, and it goes against your religion, if you're a Christian or Jew and to many, if it's not Islam, a Muslim, you're going to say, no, I have a higher duty and it's not to the state. And if you kill me, I'm going to a better place. So I don't care. And that's the enemy of totalitarianism in a way that nothing else is. The Confucian virtues of China don't have that. Buddhism actually kind of doesn't have that. Hmm. So it's just awesome to see stuff like that be promoted on the Joe Rogan experience. Clips like this, I mean, it feels like there's a new clip of Joe Rogan talking about these kinds of things every single day where Joe Rogan's just destroying the woke cult. And it's just awesome to see. Like, I just love that the, the largest platform basically in the world, I don't know if there's a larger one out there. Joe Rogan has a lot of influence. So for him to just be talking about how ridiculous it is, like these woke policies and, you know, promoting Christianity and just faith based stuff is just awesome to see. So let me know in the comments what you're thinking about these couple of clips here. What do you think about Joe Rogan's thoughts on the Joe Rogan experience on these couple of clips? Let me know in the comments what you're thinking. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I hope to see you guys on the next one. That is absolutely true. Christianity or oh, is one of the most attacked religion so far and is one of the most threatened religion. But it's, um, it's, it's not even new because, I mean, even in the Bible, we see this happen all the time. And um, Christians have been taught to hold on to their faith and to believe in God, that um, vengeance is of God. And God eventually would repay or God would fight the battle. Hence the reason why lots of Christians don't even take all of these things at, at heart to us. As, a, as opposed to other religion that they go for those things and um some of the most of these religions don't even take all of these things like i believe that christianity is one of the most accepting religion that um allows people to do whatever they want to do without them questioning those things and they just be like well god will avenge it or God will fight the battle. And that is what I know because I, I know that some religions, with what they think or with whatever they are doing to Christians, it, it, would not be, it, it, it would not be acceptable if it's done to other religions. And that's just true. But yo, this is interesting. Um, I don't always like to talk much about Christianity or talk about religion. It's not my, it's not my best topic to talk about. 
and i don't like talk about especially with the fact that i believe people know what they're doing people know where they stand especially with their religion and all and their belief and also sometimes with religion sometimes politics gets on comes to play and some people don't even know the difference when politics comes into play especially with the fact that lots of people always believe that sometimes you have to attach some little things to belief and all of that but i believe that once politics gets into religion then it becomes a problem but again politics and religion they are not my favorite topic but this is interesting it's interesting that people are st starting to talk about religion religion and faith especially people like joe rogan and the podcast i'm bringing people to come talk about this but i'm sure tons of people have interesting things to share what are your thoughts about the topic so far especially with the fact that it's scary now opening your doors to people in america or, or let, let's just say in new york or other parts or other sites or other parts of america it's now scary with the homes and home invasion and all of that what are your thoughts about this and what are your thoughts about the future of america do you see america um standing or you see america falling just like babylon i really love your honest contribution because um with the way things are going it is scary for the future of america and i'm honestly praying that america still remains or still stands in come in the future and still remains because it's the is the greatest nation i believe that lots of countries or lots of nations look up to america and nobody would want america to fall i don't even pray for america to fall i don't even wish america to fall at all but again i really love your honest contribution what do you think of america's future you can share that in the comment down below you can share the useful information you think might be really helpful make sure to like comment and subscribe and all of that stuff and until next time see you in the next video